hi you guys welcome back to my channel how you guys doing how you've been i'm really upset right now i'm really upset right now but um, it's not your guys fault you guys don't even know what the heck is going on you're just coming in here i'm only making this video because um i don't want this to happen to any of you guys so as you guys know um i'm always on mercari i'm always buying stuff on mercari and i also open my shop on mercari so i open my shop on mercari and i always buy stuff on mercari and um i got scammed you guys i've been wanting a dyson because you know that like, i'm trying to fix my hair like make my hair better and i've been wanting a dyson for a long time but every time i i don't know why i've been, i never wanted to put a four hundred dollars <laughs> and change to um to get one i've been looking on Mercari to try to get a blower to fix my hair which i wanted a dyson so finally i found this listing so she wanted 265 for the dyson and it was actually this one the purple one the one that i wanted I wanted it either the purple one or the one with the red. I didn't want the one with the pink because everybody has that one. I wanted something different. So I saw this one. It was for $265. So I, I did an offer to her and she didn't accept the offer. She was like her price was firm. Usually on Mercari, like when, when they accept your offer like really quick, it's kind of leery, especially for an item like this that you know is going to sell. So when she didn't accept the offer, like right away or nothing, and she told me that it was firm, I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, you know what? I want it anyway. I'm going to get it. So I bought it. And then I waited for it to get here. On Saturday, I was home and they said that um, the post office said that I wasn't home and I had to go pick up my packages. Now, before I left to go pick up my packages on Saturday, she she's, she's texting me, like messaging me on the app, messaging me, messaging me. And I'm like, what's going on? So she was like, hello, hello, hello. And she was like, um, um have you gotten the package? Because I, I can't tell where it's at. I said, they said that I wasn't home, but I actually was on Saturday. And it's at the post office. I should be going there soon. I'll let you know when I have it. When I got it, I told her, I text, I messaged her on the app and I told her I had it and that I would check it when I get home and rate her. But I was doing a couple of things. I had to go to Ulta, I went to Sephora, I went to do a couple of things with my son. And when I came home, I opened the box. I was so excited because I was like, my Dyson is here. I bought my old, my prime, my Bumble and Bumble priming spray for the heat protection, even though you don't really need it as with the Dyson, but I still got it. And I'm excited to come home and do my hair. So when I get home, I open the box. And when I open the box, I was like, hmm, everything looks good. Cause look, it looks like this. Yeah, so I came, I'm looking at it. I was like, wow, everything looks good, but has that. And then has is empty on this side. I was like, okay, anyway. So I look at the serial number, everything looks, you know, legit. So I open the box. When I open the box, let me show you. So when I opened it, I had this. This, I fixed it because this this paper was not stuck on there like that. It was all crumbled here. But it looked like that. And like this. So, and it looked like that. And you see that plug right there? Look at this plug. Dyson usually has their serial number on this tag. There's no serial number there. It has something else over here that has nothing to do with that. And then look at this plug. It's a regular house court plug. I've seen Dyson's before, because I've, like I said, I've been wanting one for a long time. And their, their dryers don't come with this plug. It comes with a circuit plug. The ones with the little yellow and red button comes with that. And it comes with a regulator as well. Everything else look pretty good. Look legit. Had the little the little circle there and look everything else look legit so i said you know what I, I don't think so but did they upgrade and put these cords on their on their blowers now because i've seen the pink one i've never seen the purple one i said well let me just check this so i got my serial number i went to dyson.com and i went to register 
with my serial number to register my machine because they give you two years warranty when you register it. When I registered it, it wasn't going through. I was like, I know it. So I tried it again. It still didn't go through. So I tried it again and it finally went through. But then when I went to my account, it wouldn't show up in my account. I said, you know what? I'm going through all this headache for nothing. I said, let me just call Dyson. They would know if this is if it's legit or not just i'll give them the serial number i'm sorry i'm just itching so when i gave him the serial number the guy tells me why do you think it's counterfeit and i was like well i don't think i, I mean i'm trying not to think it is because i just bought it but um i'm just wondering because the serial number didn't want to go through for one and then for two um the cord he says what about the cord I said, well, it, it looks like a regular plug cord. And he was like, if it's a regular plug cord, you definitely got a counterfeit um, machine because our machines, none of them have a regular plug. All of our machines have a circuit plug and they all have a regulator in between the cord, which I knew it's like a little box like this. I'll see if I can put pictures here. So, uh, he was like, but I'm going to check anyway. Give me the serial number and I'll check anyway. And when he checked, sure enough, th doesn't exist. So he instructed me not to send it back to Macari to bring it, that I have to bring it to Dyson in, um, in New Jersey. And that um, they will give me proof of it being counterfeit, counterfeit so that I could send to Mercari for the... Um, seller but not to send it back because basically if i send this back it's going to get in the hands of the seller again and then the seller is going to do it to someone else and it's going to keep doing it doing it until someone falls for it and it's messed up so they're trying to get these things out of the market and i'm stuck in between because i don't know what to do because my car is holding my money for this you know for, for the seller even though that i already started a whole game and i let them know that this was happening and that i spoke to dyson and what dyson told me to do and um their team got back to me but i'm waiting for an escalating team to get back to me so in the meantime i ordered the real one from sephora i don't want to keep going through this headache and um i gotta wait for it to get here on wednesday in the meantime i'm gonna use this one because i want to see what's the difference between this one and my sephora one when it comes because this would just be a regular blower there's not going to be no protecting or nothing, but I have heat protectant. So I want to see what's the difference between the counterfeit and the real one. And But I don't know if I'll have it by Tuesday, by Wednesday when I get my Sephora one because I think I have to bring this on Tuesday to Dyson. Oh, I'm waiting for my car to get back to me and tell me what I got to do with it. So if I do get rid of it, at least I want to have some footage to, to see how it is the real one versus the fake one. And you guys, you got to be careful. You have to be careful because me, I'm always buying stuff. And then I would never do it. I would have never do it. And it was sealed and everything. It was sealed in the box and everything. Just be careful. Um, always look. If you got any doubts, call, um, call Dyson or whatever the company is. You, should, you could call them and give them a serial number and let them tell you if, it, if it's authentic or not. Because I never would have thought. Not not in a million years, but it happens to all of us. Let me show you. See, I didn't even check the attachments. That's how mad I was. Yeah, it is. Look, it's, it really is magnetic. Okay. Oh. Buttons here for the key. There's a button here for the heat. Bring the lights light off, everything. But the full shot works. Perfect. Cool. Everything works perfect. That's what I can tell you guys about this. And I don't know, you guys. I'll I'll keep you guys updated. I will um also have footage on the real one versus the fake one. Yep, my blower do a better job than that. So, 
Yep. Yep. It's trash. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. My hair, my blower do a better job than that. We're back. So I got updates. I finally got the original one. But the thing is that I bought the gift edition one. Because I wanted the red one or the purple one like I had told you guys. So this one comes with a case and it's a different box. So that's why I can't give you guys the difference between the fake box and the real box. I can't do that. Well, I can because so this is not what it actually is supposed to say. Let me show you. I'm trying to do all this at one time but i'm using my phone to record because i record on my phone and then i'm using my husband's phone to show you guys okay this is what it says it says okay because you're not gonna be able to see because of the lights okay so it says thermi star guards against extreme heat damage to protect natural shine this one just says heat prevents, um, helps prevent extreme heat damage to protect natural shine. So it's different because that's not what it's supposed to say in the box. And then the fast drying is the same thing. Engineer for balance is the same thing. And smoothing nozzle, it says here, when here it says smooth and control styling on the, on the thing. Let me see if I can show you, see? Oh yeah, I can. It's just that I took pictures. I sent all of my pictures to his phone so that I could do it because I record on my phone. I don't have a camera. That's different boxes. I can't give you much of a review like that. But what I can show you is this. What it says here versus what it says here. So maybe you guys could do the comparison. You might want to screenshot this because... This is some good information, you guys. Um, I don't want you guys to ever get caught in this scam, okay? Because another thing that I got sent a bone to pick with is Mercari because I told Mercari that Dyson told me to bring the counterfeit item to their service center in Paramus, and they were going to um, give them notarized, um, notarized proof that the Dyson was counterfeit. And... Um, they refused to do that. They want. They said that if I didn't send back the I that oh, first they tell me that they were gonna check to see if the seller wanted it back. I was like, of course she's gonna want it back because she can't. She could go and scam somebody else and send it to somebody else. So of course she's gonna want it back. But anyway, um, I, I told them I was like, I don't believe that. I, I I don't even understand how she even gets that option and she sold the counterfeit item. You know what I'm saying? So had I not noticed and I would have rated her, she would have had my money and I would have been stuck with it. Basically, like, it's a final, that's final. So it's kind of messed up. I said, because, okay, so if they, if they, if instead of them doing all of that, they confiscate that, they confiscate the item. So that's okay, you know, or, or let the brand do it and give you the notarized information. And then you let them know, like they lost out on that deal because they selling prohibited items because that's a prohibited item on Mercari that's on in their terms of service. So they took a couple of days and yesterday they sent me a shipping label that I have to ship it back. I was like, so what do I do with Dyson? Because Dyson, I spoke to Dyson and they want me to bring it back there. He was like, if you don't return it, you don't get your money back. Basically, I lose my money. Even if I get proof from Dyson, I'll lose my money because I didn't ship it back. So basically, you guys are entertaining this bullshit. And if they're entertaining it, that's, this is why it keeps happening. Because the, the scammers know that if the person notices it's counterfeit, they get their item back and they get to sell it to somebody else. And they could always open another account with somebody else with their name, with another name or something. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to keep going and going and going. Mind you, when, if they take the items from them, that's another, that's one item that's off the street to scam somebody else. Don't you think? I found that really, really odd. And I, I was really upset about that. I'm sorry, I just need something to drink. So the guy tells me that this is the escalating team, mind you, because the regular support team had to get the escalating team involved for that. Like they could have done that themselves. But anyway, 
so he tells me i understand matter of fact i got conversations i'm gonna let y'all know because y'all gotta y'all gotta hear this and hear what i told them too this was my conversation with makari okay thanks um thanks for reaching out my name is steve i'm a member of the escalation escalations team here at makari i'm happy to help out let me move in a little bit i've approved your return request i didn't claim for a return i claim for them to get involved because there was just a counterfeit kind of item but anyway i've i've approved your return and sent a message to the seller to see if they like the item back if they do we'll notify you in the app and send you an email with a prepaid and address shipping label so you can turn your purchase turn return your purchase within three business days and no cost don't worry <laughs> look at their email this is my curry don't worry if they decide they don't want it back we'll cancel this transaction to issue you an immediate refund and you won't have to bother with returning anything it said if you do not receive the return label after 24 hours or having any other difficulties contact us <laughs> as soon as possible you'll receive a full refund to your original form of payment once the item has been returned so I would told them, I was told by Dyson to bring the counterfeit item to them at their service center. No, not to return the item because this only means they will sell it to someone else as original, which is a scam. They will give me a notarized, notarized proof that the item is counterfeit to give to you. You can ask them yourself. And I sent them the information. See, I sent them the information of the person I spoke to, the number I called, all that. And I said, this was who I spoke to at Dyson. He, this is what they answered me. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. To process a refund, we'll need you to return the item to the original seller. Dyson may contact us for further information. And we'll be happy to work with them. I understand you're trying to do the right thing for everyone, and I really appreciate that. Please rest assured, we take these claims seriously, very, these claims very seriously. And we will work to make sure all appropriate actions are taken. Really? Really? Once they have the item, what are you going to do? Go to their house and take it away from them so they don't sell it to somebody else? Like, really? So if they knew that when they sell it and if they get caught, they're going to lose the item and they're going to keep losing items and losing items, scammers don't want to lose money. So they're not going to keep trying to sell them. You get what I'm saying? But if they know that they can scam you and if you, catch, if you catch it, then they get the item back. And if you don't catch it, then you stuck with it. So then this is why they do it. It says, once we've confirmed that the hairdryer has, has been returned, we'll cancel the transaction and issue your refund. Then we'll take it from there. <laughs> what are you going to do there? After that, you're going to go to their house and get it away from them? No. So, whatever. Oh, what are they going to do? Close down her shop? She'll open another one with another name. <laughs> like, duh. Like, these are scammers. If they if they doing this to people, like, can you just imagine the rest of the stuff they're doing? Really? So, I put this seller had other items for sale when I purchased this one. When she took, and she took them down upon noticing I asked for a return. For um, like, cause and I put in quotation marks because that's what they said. But okay, no problem. I will return the item back to her. So I'm just waiting to see if the seller wants the item back now. I can't believe she even gets that choice. But it, it's the way it is. And then I put okay. So upon your instruction and shipping label, I'll return the item. So I put that right. Let me tell you, the bitch had nerve. She had the nerve, the nerve, to be. Um, messaging me messaging me okay you guys so yeah I had to go back in my phone and when I go in my phone of course my video turns off so I could get the the conversation with this girl she she got nerves then she texts me after I did all of that I guess when my car restarted the whole thing she texts me hello I received a return messages a return message what is the issues Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the nerve of her. So I didn't answer her. So the next day, hello, hello. She like kept texting me, hello. So and then she texts me, hey, have um have been texting you. You never reply the request. You never re reply the request you asked for is approved. And I need you to mail my items back.
what I said about scammers. Of course they want their items back. Okay. So then I put really. I, 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 there I had it. Because I was ignoring her hellos and all that. I was ignoring her. But when she went like that, I was like, hold up. So I said, really? You have the nerve to even keep texting me? You sold me a counterfeit item and expect me to respond to your messages? You and I have nothing to talk about because I don't talk to scammers. Don't tell me what to do because I know what I have to do. I was explaining this by Mercari. I know you must be rushing to scam someone else. So don't worry, your item will be back to you soon so you can attempt to scam someone else. How can you live with yourself knowing you are doing this to people? You should be ashamed of yourself. And I left it at that. I'm thinking at that, with that response, she wasn't going to respond. But I was wrong. So then, look what she tells me. You need to search for scam definitions. Definitions. Again, because you don't know what you're talking about. How do I how do I scam you? Did I take your money from you? I post my items online, you buy it, and I say and say that I scam you. You also you also this and I scam you. Also, this item is original quality. I buy from wholesale. I doesn't need I doesn't I'm reading exactly how it says. Look. Oh, where is it? I doesn't need, look. I doesn't need to talk to you either. You have my items under your hand since last week and the return you requested been approved for two days. You should drop my items to USPS. This is why I texting. I was texting. I don't text you to talk to you. Whew. So, you know, I went in. I said, how about listing them as counterfeit? How about that? That's scamming people. You don't have my money because I'm not stupid and I know better. But had I not known and rated you, yes, you would have my money and I would have been stuck with a fake item. Um, I bought it because I thought it was authentic because you never said it was counterfeit in your listing. The nerve of you to even talk crap to me and get your facts straight. I got the shipping label sent to me today and I have three days to three days per my email to send it to you. So I send it when I can, not when you tell me. So she put, <laughs> this bitch got nerves. Stop take, talking, taking, ta stop taking, not talking, stop taking crap. I did not text you to talk about all this. I text you about, I text you about is to ship my items back. Mm -hmm. I cannot make this shit up. So, and then I responded to her. I'm sure you didn't text me to hear the truth because you are an honest person. So you don't like the truth. Like I said, I got the label today and, and in the email it says I have three days to send it. So like I said, I ship it. I ship it when I can, not when you want. I wanted this item to be authentic, and it wasn't. Did I get what I wanted? No. So, comes to show you, we can't always get what we want, when we want, because of dishonest people like you. When I went to send it, <laughs> this is what I got. She blocked me. After she put to um, ship the items back, she blocked me. So I wasn't able to send the last message that I told you that I wrote back. I wasn't able to send it because they don't want to hear the truth. They hate when you call them out and it's not right. And I'm making a video about this because I don't want you guys to fall for it. And I'm going to put her shop up here because if you guys ever run into her shop, just be very careful what you get from her. Oh, mind you. And, and when I registered, remember I was telling you guys um, early in the video that I did it like three times and it wouldn't go through. And then finally went through, but no um, blow will show up. And that's why I called Dyson. The blower showed up, but it showed up as um, gray and pink. This is gray and purple. And this one will come out gray and purple, not gray and pink. Because today when I registered mine, I'm going to put the pictures right here. And I should have them right here. On my phone. I, I, girl, I came with all the receipts because I was not playing. Okay, so... See, when I first, when I went in to register my account that I logged in, it comes up as this. 
pink uh, fuchsia F fuchsia and look see the serial number and it's not a fu fuchsia machine it's the purple one see when i went and put my my serial number in it went in right away and now i got two machines but i gotta call dyson so they could change it see your machine has been and it came out really fast like that your machine has been registered see and it came out one, two, three, no problem. I didn't have to wait, do it three times, none of that. All right, so now let's get into this because I want you guys to see. I'm sorry, I have to reach for the other one. The differences. My Bob was telling you guys about the cord, right? So we're going to start at the cord first because that's the most one that I was, that is one I noticed right away. So look at the cord. This is the Dyson. Oh my God, I don't want to drop this thing. Hold on, because I dropped everything. These are the, this is the cord from Dyson, right? And this is the cord that came in the purple one. Now look at this, how thin it is. And look how thick the Dyson one is. See the difference? See that? Another thing, sorry. Look at the the, the seals. Remember I told you that, sorry, that Dyson writes um stuff on this. This one, all it says is, like Dyson and numbers there that don't even make no sense because none of these numbers are here. So this is the original seal and this is the one that's on. Oh my God, Jesus. The one on the counterfeit one. Look at the difference. See how it says customer care on the original one here with the number and look at the piece of shit they put down there. Right? And then... This is why this one is so big because they put that, you see, with the serial number and everything on it. That's that. Then this one, the original one, also has this, the regulator. Remember I was telling you guys about the regulator? Look how big this this thing is. You're going to tell me I can miss this? There's nobody can miss this. And look how thick the cord is still compared to this. Look at this. So that's another thing. Then I'm, I went like I, I went side by side by side by side. And this is the original one, right? Of course. See, you should open it like this. So it has a little grooves like right there. So it makes it really easy to just you just put it in the you put it like that and turn it. And this one you see how it's not see how it has those lines it's not smooth like the other one is look you don't see no lines on the dyson one outside see the lines then when you open it it has no it has no little grooves here like the other one so it's look look at the problem look and this is look it won't, it's like a hard thing to put it in and all that. See, you gotta go like that. And look, look at where the red button is when you turn it. And the Dyson. And the Dyson only goes in where this is. See? You go like that. And then you go, you go like that and then like that. See, and it opens there. So that's another thing. Another difference is, okay, back here. See this button, see the little blue dot here? This one is way smaller than this one is. They both have the circle, but this is a bigger button than this one is, right? And then look at this. See how this one has a space right here? This one does, uh, like it has it all the way in here. And it's like, it's different. See? Then, what else? This is the original one and this is the fake one. See how it has this inside there? Look at this one. You could barely see anything in there. See? And then, what else? Okay, the little lights. Remember yesterday? I mean, in the in early in the video, I was trying to show you guys the lights. 
Okay, so I'm trying to see if I hope it focuses because I want you guys to see this. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you're going to see it somewhere around here. I don't know if I'm going to focus, focus. Okay, you see them right there? The three, those little white things. Those are the lights for the Dysons. And they have, all three of them have that. This one doesn't have it at all. So it's actually like lighting up from inside of the blower because it doesn't have the little white lights at all. At all. So it's like painted over them. So other than that, they're the same size. See, so you gotta be very careful because they're doing them really good. Let's see. And oh, then this one is a little fatter than that one, but it's almost nothing. Okay, and then here, there's the original one. See how they write that? And it has this. This, this is also in that name is also in the brochure and then here it has letterings too i'm just trying to see if i can show you guys really really close see that and then this one look what it has that's it it's just saying that it falls in the in the in the top that's it that's what it has nothing up on the top so I'll show you the comparison like this so you guys can see. Okay, so it looks like that. See that? This is the original one, the real one. So that's another thing. So now let's get into the nozzles. Let's get into because this is crazy. Like it has so much things that you could be able to notice, but at the same time, you can't because they look so much alike. It's crazy. All right, so these are the nozzles, the original ones. These are the two original ones and the diffuser on this side. Then I have the other ones over here. See, like right here. So I'm going to show you side by side. Let me, let me put these here. Here. Like that. Okay, so this is the fake one, right? This is the fake one. This is the... the the one that's supposed to be bigger, smaller. Let me see. Yeah, this is the one that's supposed to be um, the styling one. This is the original one. Look at the difference. Let me show you. Look at the difference. Look how more wider this one is. I mean, more wider the Dyson one is than this one. Look at this. See? Now look inside. See how this one has this, like right here at the edge? This one has that part all the way back here. And no, and basically, see, that's what it looks like. Another thing, there's the original one, fake one. It has a screw inside, no screw inside. Now we're gonna go to the other one, the, the drying one. Again, screws, screws. See? Original, fake. Now look at this. This is the original. See, the original has this little thing here inside. This one doesn't have anything inside. See it? This is original, fake. And then the original this is the fake, this is the original. Okay, the diffuser. See how the diffuser is flat for the Dyson? Flat and round. And then look at this one. It goes in there. See that? And it has like holes here for whatever reason. Because I don't know why it has holes there. But yeah. So it has holes there. And then this is original fake. Like this. There you go. See? See the difference? Okay. 
Now, y'all gotta be careful because they even send these, the 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 warranty book and everything. Like, if it's real, they really think this is real. Okay, so now, let me show you. Look at the nozzles here. Look at, you see, you heard that? Like, like, look to take off this nozzle. See how hard it comes, it takes, to, this is the original one. Look, it's hard to take it off. Hard to take it off. Like, you're not gonna break your nails or your hand, but it's gonna give you a little bit of thing to take it off. There's the other one. Right off. Right off. Right off. You don't even hear the clock that, you know, that it was actually gripping it. So that's another thing. Another thing is that the Dyson ones, the original one, is not going to fit. It won't, it won't fit this one. Like, you could push it in. But it, it's not going to magnetize. See? It's not magnetized at all. So, you already know. See? This one is the one for this one. See how I pulls it? So, this is the fake one. I know the original one. See? You got to push it in. See? It'll hold it, but... See? Now watch the fake one on the Dyson it would not magnetize at all like you have to push it in because the magnets are set are different see you have to push it in you could push it in but why do that see this one it won't even see nothing so if you want to know, bring your nozzle to a to a store and see like if it doesn't like the Dyson. See, this one doesn't even hold at all. And this is the original one. At all. Look. See. So let me see if this one will fall. Oh no, this one will fall. It won't fall. It won't fall because you're pushing it in, but the diffuser will fall off. So bring your things into a Sephora and look into that. Now we're gonna check the sound. That's another thing. I'm trying to give you all the little details guys so you guys can know like how to do this because hold on let me plug this. Okay. Let's see if they sound different because that, that's another thing I've been hearing. I didn't I didn't um I didn't check them for the sound. I've been checking like little knickknacks like that that you guys can know that is fake. Oh and another thing the Dyson, if you guys see straight inside, I'm trying to see. If you see straight inside, it's smooth all across, down, smooth. This one has like lifted. The plastic inside is lifted right here. See it right there around the edge? It's lifting. Dyson's is not. So that's another thing to take note of. You got to be really careful, you guys, because they're doing these really, really good. Because they were saying, oh, if they didn't have the circle. And look, this one has a circle. And it's still fake. Okay. Okay. That's one. This one sounds like mm. okay. oh, look at this one. Sounds like mm. See how it's like mm. like it looks like it's what? You hear that? Like, like shutting down. This one does it, but it don't do it like that. See? Oh, 
okay look into that and let me see she has a light to see them and here they're under oh it's great <laughs> yo <laughs> this blower this one Plug to that to the extension cord, but I had too many things plugged. My mom told you that, so I gotta plug another one on the other side because I don't want it to the circuit breaker to drop. I feel like I was somewhere else for a minute. I was like, damn, I know I paid my con ad. <laughs> so my light went out. So we're back. So, like I was saying just be careful you see the little white thingy just check everything that i told you if, if the video will be up so i'm gonna blow my hair i'm gonna blow out some with this and the rest with this because i'm not trying to do half and half because this is piece of crap but just so you guys can see the difference i'll blow out a piece with this and a piece with this and then i'll go in and finish my whole hair with this so that you guys could see the difference of how they dry hopefully when i try to do that <laughs> i won't plug both of them though because this is really like the the this is really strong it smells so this one smells like new and this one smells like burn like burn metal could it be this shit that made my life fall and um, break out yeah this smells like burn metal what? OMG, you guys. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? I know I pay my connect bill. What type of shit is this? <laughs> I was like, I just went like. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. You guys, I know you guys be laughing with me, especially Nikki B. Dick. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you guys, I wanted to add in this video because one of my subscribers sent me a little note and I am so happy. It was so cute. I went to my PO box and I found that you don't know. Oh my gosh, she put the biggest smile on my face. I couldn't believe it. So thank you, Peggy. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it came perfect. So she put, this is, and look, this is what she sent me. Look how cute. It's a little coaster, but look how cute from Australia, you guys. This is amazing. And I love these, the coasters, but I like them like from, you know, different places and stuff like that. So this is awesome. I had a little kangaroo there. Is it a kangaroo? No, that's not a kangaroo. It's a platypus. <laughs> yo, I can't see, yo. I'm thinking this was a freaking kangaroo. This is not a freaking kangaroo. It's a platypus. The hell? <laughs> I can't see. I was like, I'm trying to see it through the camera because I saw it before. But I swore. I could have sworn it was a kangaroo. So, Peggy, if you're watching this, don't laugh. But I really thought it was a kangaroo. But it's still awesome. It's awesome. Oh, see, I know I freaking seen a kangaroo. Look at one right there. You see, I'm not bugging. I know I saw a freaking kangaroo, and I thought there was one in the, in the inside too because there was one here and one Happy here. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday, <laughs> baby. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you, Kervin. <laughs> <laughs> they always do this. <laughs> well, we always do this, everybody. Toma pa, llévalo pa la cocina, mi amor. Toma a little bit. I know I'm on a diet, but... Love you, baby. I love you too, mi amor. Thank you, mi amor. I love you too, with all my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everybody in this house gets some happy birthday at midnight. See, back to this. So see, I saw kangaroo here and one here. On that, 
when I saw it, see how it's reflective? It looked like a kangaroo to me. So I'm like, oh, look at the little kangaroo. But then when I'm looking into the camera, I'm like, wait a minute, but it looks different. So I was like, let me check. <laughs> it might be a koala bear. <laughs> And it was neither or it was a platypus so this is what it is but it's still beautiful and amazing and i have something from australia so she wrote me hi look at that just wanted to send you this note to thank you for my box she was one of the winners for the giveaway for the mystery boxes giveaway so it was great and i love everything you sent your channel is awesome i love all those unboxings even though i am sure it is very expensive for you i lived in the bronx all my life Yay, finally somebody that live in the bronx. <laughs> i live in the bronx all my life until i moved to miami in 1983 i wish i wish i would live in miami and 1983 i went to christ the king school and the concourse she knows she's talking about one seven that's near one seven oh by um and 169 between 169 and 170 and the Grand Concourse. And then he, she said she went to um, St. Thomas Aquinas, Aquino's High School for Girls. So I know all the noise you go through. <laughs> but now, now I have lived in Miami longer than New York. Anyway, hope you're doing well and that you are taking care of yourself. Good health, joy, and love for 2020. Oh my God, Peggy, this means so much to me. These little notes, when I get them, you don't understand. I'll save all of them. I have a little box just to save these. All the notes that I get from you guys. So, And then it says um, that she's sending me the coaster. It's uh, her son moved two years ago. And she went there in 2018. Had a great time and just wanted to share a little bit of me with you. Oh, Peggy. Thank you so much. But thank you so much, Peggy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I need to go take a shower and wash my hair so that I could come blow it out and show you guys. And then I could close up this video so I could edit it to put it up tomorrow. And this is a long video to put it up tomorrow, okay? So be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do this part first with the fake blower, which is a regular blower. It's a regular blower. And let's see. Oh my god, that noise. I'm gonna dry it the way I always dry my hair. I'm gonna give it honest. An honest fake review. An honest fake review. Sorry about the noise. Y'all probably like, what the heck is she doing? Oh my God, this is horrible. I have to protect them, um, so just in case. Because I know you guys are probably gonna be like, what the hell is she doing? She put it in my clothes, I got to protect them. Um. $188 piece of shit. Look at this. That's how my hair came off. So, that's what it is. So, I'm gonna do the other part to see how it looks. I need this here. Oh. So I'm going to use the regular Dyson, my roll, roll one. That thing is so big that it even covers the USB that I have on my mirror. And earlier, that's what happened. I had the thing connected to my mirror, one of them, and then I had the other one connected to the extension cord. But the extension cord is also powering my mirror. So I was like, get it out. Over here, the light company is called Con Edison. Look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's try this, guys. Let's see. 
and I also have heat protection on the other side. I didn't use it. I was just heat protection. So the whole thing of the Dyson is that they um they have um, a sensor inside that measures um the t heat temperature so it doesn't go above 150. Hence why your hair doesn't get burned. This is what it is. It's dry. Look at the difference. Look at this. Look how healthy this hair looks and look at this. <laughs> look at this. And look at this. This one is, it feels so much better. Really soft and smooth. See? Mm. Now look at this. There you go, you guys. That's what it is. So the real one versus the fake one. I even show ya the performance. That's crazy. Yeah, look at my hair, look. It looks way nicer than this one. That's the end of this video. Don't forget, leave it in the comments down below, whatever you have to say. I need your comments on this one, you guys. And um, be careful. They also doing it on eBay. They doing it everywhere, you guys. So be careful when you buy stuff from these apps. Because when I tell you on Poshmark too, I heard they were doing it too. Especially, you know, like do your research and your stuff because it's really crazy out there. And these guys, they don't care. They just don't care. And look at this. Look at this hair. Look at this hair, and look at this hair. That's crazy. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Smash that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.